Another very important concept uh, that will be required for our uh, future discussion is diffeomorphism. Uh, you are uh, well familiar with the concept of state transformation. You know that uh, state space representation is not unique. A system, a dynamic system may have uh, multiple state space representations. For example, if you have uh, this uh, linear system described by these uh, equations, uh, then you can define a linear change of coordinates to uh, write the same system in new uh, state space variables and in new state space variables uh, represented by z the same system uh, can be uh, we can obtain uh, the same uh, we can write the same system in new state variables z and you also already know that uh, this state variable new state variable is related with uh, this actual state variable by a transformation matrix that is z is equal to t multiplied by x where t is some transformation matrix what properties uh, uh, should this matrix have right so this matrix t must be invertible uh, only then uh, that is uh, uh, a transformation and in that case uh, this a bar b bar and c bar these are related to a b and c uh, by these uh, expressions which you are already familiar so for linear systems uh, or, or even for any dynamic system state space representation is not unique and for linear systems you are already familiar with the concept of state transformation state transformation is defined by this expression for nonlinear system it would be more appropriate if we take uh, a nonlinear change of coordinates for linear systems we had taken a linear change of coordinates for nonlinear systems we can define a nonlinear change of coordinates that is uh, the new state variable is related with actual state variable by a nonlinear function here this t uh, although the notation is the same but here this t is not a matrix this is a vector function of state variables that is this t has uh, n elements this uh, first element is a function of state variables and all uh, elements are function of state variables so this uh, state transformation nonlinear state transformation will be valid if it satisfies two properties that is t of x must be invertible what do we mean by invertible invertible means inverse transformation must exist uh, there must exist this inverse transformation here again the notation please do not confuse it with uh, this is not a matrix over here so t inverse does not mean uh, inverse of a matrix it means inverse transformation uh, inverse transformation means that uh, this thing should be satisfied if you uh, take the transformation of state variables and then take inverse transformation then you should get the actual state variable this is the meaning that inverse transformation must exist and uh, secondly uh, this uh, transformation as well as inverse transformation should be smooth functions what do we mean by smooth functions their derivatives must exist so if this transformation matrix uh, the, uh, so not in matrix if this transformation satisfies these two properties then this transformation is called a diffeomorphism right so state transformation nonlinear state transformation uh, it will be a valid state transformation if it satisfies these two uh, properties and if it satisfies these two things then it is called a diffeomorphism uh, we can also talk about global diffeomorphism and local uh, diffeomorphism uh, if uh, this transformation is defined for all x uh, in this uh, state space uh, and uh, these functions are smooth in the entire state space then uh, this uh, diffeomorphism will be a global diffeomorphism if these transformations are defined only in a domain uh, then uh, we call the, uh, that uh, transformation uh, that uh, transformation to be a local diffeomorphism transformations defined only in neighborhood of a given point those are called local diffeomorphism uh, here is an example uh, z1 z2 
are related with x1 and x2 by uh, this uh, uh, transformation so we want to study whether it is a diffeomorphism or not if it is a diffeomorphism it must satisfy two properties that is inverse transformation must exist and uh, the transformation as well as inverse transformation must be smooth so let's check it so uh, here from here we can uh, read x2 is equal to z2 and uh, x1 is equal to z1 minus z2 here x1 is equal to z1 minus uh, x2 and x2 is equal to z2 therefore uh, the inverse transformation exists and furthermore this uh, transformation is smooth we can find the derivative of this transformation the inverse transformation is also smooth uh, uh, function uh, smooth vector function so uh, therefore this transformation is a diffeomorphism furthermore uh, this is defined for all of, uh, x uh, in state space therefore this is global diffeomorphism t of x is a global diffeomorphism what about this thing here is another uh, transformation and we want to study whether it is a diffeomorphism or not so you are right uh, it is a diffeomorphism but not a global diffeomorphism uh, here uh, we can read that x2 uh, is equal to sine inverse of z2 and x1 is equal to z1 it is a diffeomorphism because inverse transformation exists both are smooth uh, however the inverse transformation is only defined uh, in a subset of the uh, state space uh, th therefore it is a local diffeomorphism not a global diffeomorphism another way to check whether a uh, transformation is a diffeomorphism or not is by this procedure we compute the jacobian matrix if jacobian matrix is non singular at a point then uh, in the neighborhood of uh, this point x naught uh, this uh, transformation will be a diffeomorphism so you need to compute this jacobian matrix if you want to determine if uh, a transformation is diffeomorphism or not otherwise you can uh, find the inverse transformation and check whether both of them are smooth or not so for example if we again talk about the same transformation uh, jacobian matrix is given over here and uh, is it a singular matrix or not uh, so again in the domain uh, defined by this uh, set uh, this matrix is non singular which means that this transformation is a diffeomorphism uh, in this uh, set 